to it. Solid and grey had become. He wasn't responding to Joe's questions or acknowledging them at all. Oh, sounds lonely. No, no, uh. okay, I can get you back easy. Yeah. Bouncy. Ooh. Okay. Don't understand what the point of the bounciness was. But... Were they really oh. Trying to save his friends? Oh. Mega jump. I was going to do it somewhere else, but I ended up faking it until I made it anyways. Short jumpers are the only one, the only things that I have troubles with sometimes, because it's like, oh shit, I gotta move people around. Ahead wasn't safe. He told the team to wait, that he'd come get them when it was secure. Gray had to be stopped, whatever the cost. Yeah. And always remember with stuff like this, just do it one at a time. This makes life life easier. Don't actually necessarily have to put them in place quite yet either. Yeah. Because they might move around a bit anyways. But the creativity of some of these levels though, I, I quite enjoy. I mean, this is definitely one of my top probably 5 to 10 favorite games ever. And it's, it's an indie game and I bought it many of times. One of the few games I bought more is Minecraft. Cloud had been separated from its allies for some time. She'd not heard the order to retreat. She was shocked by the appearance of the four aberrations below. The old one no. seemed to be leading the liar to an outcropping. It was within her reach. She could remove them both. The couple could wait. They weren't going anywhere. Well, I'm going to take you to explore and see where we are. I need to bring everybody. Alright, I need to bring the square up here. Alright, square. You actually have to go back. Because I want to give you a double jump. I'm rarely relying on that little bar in the bottom now. There you go, give you a double jump so you can get up here. Oh, okay. 
So both the lock and this guy's got to make it up there too. Oh, but he needs double jump as well. Getting lucky is one of my specialties. Like, can I just give everyone double jump? Will that, will that work? Go away, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I do not want to play with you again. So, we have to have that one as bounce. And I need at least... We'll bring him back to help out. Or actually, I can just... There you go. The guy who resembles Thomas is the one that's the most useful. And I fall down the wrong pit. There we go. Oh, darkness is taking people away again. Are you able to double jump the whole way? Oh wow, okay. Tim and Sam ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this. Up and to the right. That's usually what it is. You just have to go up and to the right. Be cheeky. I just take my time. Let's gather. Button. There's an island one. Probably meant so they had to be together. Just landed on nothing. The game already? I guess we beat the game. Sarah. Wait, what? That wasn't the level we just did. Was this the one we just did? No. Wait, what the hell?
Team jumps. For the Wait, so does that mean that it was 9-10 we just completed? Yeah. Because... Just to confirm... We'll just do this one more time. Ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this. I'm pretty sure it just goes into the next one, but I'm just trying to make sure we didn't lose that on dialogue. I kind of wish they made this multiplayer when they brought it back out, like couch co-op and stuff like yeah there's some that there'd be just one player but at the same time they would just be the one player for that round whatever it's just player one and then player two you just have it switching back and forth definitely taking a more out of their way this time just slowly coming back towards the right Still made it back to the right before I made it over. Oh, you need him to be here so you can hit the button. They leapt. So I'm just confirming we didn't miss out on any uh, d dialogue or anything. I got them mixed up. So we got the computer screens turning on. I'm not pressing anything. Says so for carry. And then it just says scenario select. Alright, guess we're moving on to the hidden levels or whatever. Long before Thomas, there were other AIs. They were prototype tests. We were shocked when one amongst thousands developed the powerful trade, hope. All right, today your question is, what is hope? Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted packed away in neat boxes. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Benjamin hoped that one day, he'd be able to reach out and touch it. All right, need him back. <laughs> No, he is not water soluble. Or he is water soluble. God damn it, words. Right, are you this way? Move you up here. Move you back to the edge. Good thing I didn't try throwing the yellow one in water. Eighteen thirty-one cycles later. Holy crap! How many tests have these guys been doing? His father had sent word that it was ready, that it was actually done. But what's done? There had been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, 
I like how they had to make that platform go up and down for the idiots that actually like, fall off of the checkpoint. The jetpack was glorious. Benjamin's father motioned to the switches he'd made, told him to fly slowly though. Wait, they created this themselves? So now it goes from what the world gives them to what they're able to make themselves. Benjamin ignored him, of course, hitting the sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly, to fly to the fountain. The power of the jetpack. Quick flight up to the fountain. Benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind. The locked doors were uh, a precaution. The spike walls, a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings. That combination lock on the jetpack had, after all, been exceptionally easy to guess. Oh yeah, I see why these are after that main game, but the story definitely plays on from there. And boo. I learned my lesson. <laughs> Slowly hover down instead of just fall down. was done. The fountain had sounded like a great idea when she started. An adventure. And more importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone. But she So is the fountain what we made it into at the end of the last chapter? That was mean. He was getting good at this. They could fly. It was important to stay focused, though. He had a fountain to get to. Oh, that hurts. Get to the fountain, touch it, get home for dinner. His father wouldn't even notice he'd gone anywhere. Rectangle seemed remarkably unimpressed by Benjamin's jetpack. She didn't even ask about it. She just kept looking up and muttering about clouds. Initially slighted, Benjamin decided that this was a passing disinterest and she'd come round eventually. There we go. Hence why the person's a long stick. Okay. That's how they trap at the bottom. Like, I, this one's a little bit harder compared to the last one. Where's the catch? Anna tried to talk the obnoxiously single-minded Square out of his plan. She should have left him, taken the next portal home, and forgotten about that big splattering machine he kept motioning at heroically.
I do like being able to jetpack around, that's fun. I never got about a lot of this game, so I'm having a lot of fun. They were halfway to the fountain. It occurred to Benjamin that his father would have become aware by now. Ben hoped that he'd be forgiven. You know. Father of the jetpack. Uh, huh. Slide you in there, and there we go. A little too much downwards for my thumb. Anna tried again. She told Benjamin about the blinding light of the fountain, of the clouds which had defended it. She begged him not to carry on. He laughed it off. He wasn't afraid of clouds, so however pixelated they were, he could fly above them or swoop to avoid them. He scared her. Good enough. Sarah was awed by the square. Its voice boomed, raised above the roar of the jetpack. You don't happen to have any sandwiches, do you? Oh. Perfect. Run, 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 run. All right, we got another double jumper. That's why those things go so high. That pack or the win. Oh. They're just enjoying the ride at this point. I know I would be. Benjamin liked the little purple fango. And she was kind of cute. And she seemed really impressed with his jetpack. I was a fat girl. I'm like, wait a this, second. This was how Anna should have been looking at him all this time. But no. She was pure naysaying. She did understand the dream he had. The importance of what he was doing. That double jump was cool too. Perfect. Perfect dog. The fountain of knowledge sounded fantastic. Benjamin hadn't told her what it was, really. She suspected he didn't know. He plowed off ahead while she jumped behind him, helping the increasingly resigned Anna. Sarah suspected Anna had no faith in Benjamin. She was scared. Ha! She had not the faith to believe in their leader. Sarah found herself thinking more epically. She suspected it was Benjamin's heroism. Well, every hero needed a faithful disciple. Maybe that was her. Well, yeah. Well, it's not like people want to be thought as disciples. Try and force it, you're just going to look like an idiot. 
Like I just did. Sorry guys. Uh, for some reason it kicked me out of my uh, party, so I had to go rejoin that real quick because it's how I make sure that I'm actually talking. I'm not just being an idiot. Goodbye. No idea what sandwiches even were. How can you not know what a sandwich is? Oh god. I'm gonna save you, my little fangirl. Benjamin carried her even higher. He swore the fountain was close, that soon she would see him touch it. Wait, what? I'm falling. Oh, I'm supposed to fall all the way down. The world surrounding the fountain was brighter than the rest. Light seemed to engulf the space around it, pouring into the chambers. Benjamin was close. The jetpack was working. Benjamin thought of his father again. He thought about how proud the big square would be of what he'd accomplished. Now I get to fall together. Perfect. Not that difficult, just took a minute. Let's go. She could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. He would return soon enough. And he would tell her everything. The lights grew even brighter. All right, we gotta go back. Been seven, okay. It's been a while since again, and we're right at the end too. Knew she could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. He would return soon enough, and he would tell her everything. The lights grew even brighter, and with tears in his eyes, Benjamin ascended. What do you say? It shone before him, its light reverberating off the wall. 
Defensively. It was awesome. It was everything he had hoped. Sandwiches didn't matter anymore. He really loved his sandwiches. Didn't matter anymore. Hey, no, 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 no. Benjamin. You always got to prioritize the cute purple fan girls. No, co no compromise to that. The light engulfed Benjamin. And I go past the light. Oh, it has a little white square in the middle there. <laughs> Literal maze. Oh, you know what they say. Don't know how to get out of maze, just hold the right wall. Eventually you'll get out. Benjamin was blind. He had seen shadows, bright lights, data in innumerable and unimaginable combinations. And then, it had gone. He wasn't ready. He sat. There was nothing else to do. He'd try and find his way home tomorrow. Knowledge was too much for an eager mind. Like, there's a lot of to dissect in this game, and I wish I was smarter so I could properly explain it, but it's definitely worth, like, keeping mind to everything that is said in this game. Should we, like, some quick time events? stuck up there. She had no idea if she'd ever see him again. Hugging the wall worked. had destroyed everything. It had unleashed the clouds. It had blinded Benjamin. Kind of a Pandora's box effect, I guess. Sarah swore she would see it. She'd get back to it. She would know what it was. And what it contained. There's a collectible on the other side of that. Consequences. And that's everything. I... I don't know, it just feels like there's more to it, but there isn't. Because even in this game, like, I'm on the leaderboard with them. I think I was what? I'm 28th on this one right now. I haven't tried to do too many of the rank leaderboards and stuff. There's a couple that you'll never be able to beat just because they're set in time, set in stone times. So, but thank you for tuning in to Thomas Was Alone. If you're watching this on Twitch, thank you for chilling out. If you're on YouTube, thank you for watching the whole series. If you managed to make it to this outro, you are awesome for watching all of the videos we uploaded for this. And again, let me know if you guys care about an achievement guide, a collectible guide. I know this game isn't that popular, but I kind of hope that people will see this game and want to play it a bit. Because like I said, I really enjoy this game. It, it is, like I said, it's one of my top 10 favorite games out there.
And especially for indie games, some of my top five favorite indie games, hands down. It's probably like my second behind I made a game with zombies in it. But <laughs> either way, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on another Let's Get Mad Incorporated.